As most people probably know, that safari in Swahili means a journey. I like the idea of being out on a journey, together with the guests and together with the, with the horses. And then earning your gin and tonic at the end of the day, of course. <laughs> Cheers, everyone! My name's Therese and I travel because I've always wanted to and I'm just starting out really on travelling. So I chose to come to Tanzania because I, I really do have a bit of an affinity with this country. I'm, I'm not sure why but I, 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 feel like, I feel like I'm at home here. Why would you walk and you can take a horse is my motto. I guess I travel because I just want to experience something different and learn about other cultures and other people and see them in a more raw state than just going and staying in a hotel and, and drinking coffees, although I do like drinking coffees. Come out to a place like here where we're on the Tanzanian Kenya border and we are just disconnected from everything. You know, you have that opportunity to wind down and really just immerse yourself in the culture. It's, it, it's just beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love giraffes, I love elephants, I love horses, and I love mountains. So all the things were right here. And I think we should all be able to see and contextualize as many experiences as we possibly can. I mean, I've always wanted to go on a safari, who wouldn't? Um, and my sister had taken her family on a safari and thought, oh, this would be amazing on horseback. And everybody I've ever spoken to who had done it on horseback I thought it was life-changing. So um, they were not wrong. It's just yeah, great to get out there and see it and feel it firsthand. And why on horses? Because it's the only way to go. <laughs> <laughs>to start in the jungle but we did at Arush and and that was really quite spectacular it was so Jurassic Park you really expected a t-rex to like burst through um, instead of a giraffe <laughs> to, to poke its head through I was expecting it to be quite barren and sparse and in fact it's been amazingly diverse I had no idea what it would be like but going up Mount Meru and it was just rainforest and rainy and cold and as I say, we've been kissing the rain, so in the mist and the low cloud, really, really special. Like really lush, unbelievable rainforest where you're cantering down these windy paths. Riding through the rainforest to me was an absolute highlight, cantering through little single trails. Yeah, it was just wonderful. Going through the rainforest on a trail came out into a relatively small opening and there was a pond there with about the four, three or four hippos, yeah. And so we're, so it's only a small pond, and we're yeah. right at the edge, and yeah, they're yeah. not far away. It's pretty, yeah, pretty impressive. really hard to pick a highlight. Every day there's something exceptional that happens. It was still um, eye-opening every day to see the different, the different landscapes. Kilimanjaro itself was there all the time and we were always looking for, for it. Is she poking her head out today through the clouds? Are we going to see her? And um, when we did get a glimpse it was just like, yes! <laughs> I think the highlights of this ride was definitely giraffe wrangling. A lot of people say I would like to gallop with giraffe or alongside giraffe or get close to elephants. And when you can make that dream come true, then you can really see the, the love in their eyes. They just they want to do it again and again and again.
practically touch it. It was right there. You know, you're riding along with a giraffe on your left and a zebra on your right is super cool. And that, that's an experience that I certainly never expect to have again. The thrill of being able to see the animals from atop a horse is just, yeah, I just have always thought that would be amazing, and, and here I am. So I expected we would see one or two elephants at a time, but we got to see a whole family. That was the closest I've ever been to an elephant in the wild. You come across them and they're sort of like secrets, and you have to be really quiet, it's sort of fun. I always think it's pretty neat when you, when you hear something breathing. Like riding around here, you just you never know what to what you're gonna expect, and something could jump out of the bushes at any time. They led us up, and and then it was a bull ele elephant, and he started to get a bit aggressive. And when you're following a big bull like that, you you know at one stage he's gonna try and give you a little bit of a mock charge. When he turns around and comes for you, you really gotta you gotta think quickly because you want to keep everyone safe. Shit can hit the fan very quickly there. He's not really used to anything standing there ground because he's so big. So it kind of puts him off and confuses him. So he's like testing you and you're testing him. And then eventually I backed off a little bit and he, he felt that he, he won the fight. So, and then he just carried on moving so we could experience a little bit more time with him. I don't know. It's incredible. You, when you think Africa's not going to get any better, it gets better. <laughs> it has been a spectacular ride. It's incredible. It is just, I, you can't even describe it. You need to be here just to feel all the culture and all the animals. We went to an amazing uh, celebration at the Maasai tribe yesterday. Um, we were able to, to see how they celebrate. The ceremony was, that was an added bonus for us. This was the real thing. for them to invite us in was just so kind and so special. Um, the colors, the, the flavor, the smells, the, the everything about it was just you know, spectacular. It has been absolutely sensational. Taking us to such a diverse areas in Tanzania I just has been mind blowing. And the horses, I think everybody's really thrilled with all their horses. This is Marani, and it means warrior. I can't have to say goodbye to another horse. It would be horrible. It's very special.
I think when you do your first horse safari, you get the bug and you're going to end up spending all your time and money on keep on coming back and traveling Africa by horseback. So that's lovely for us because when we have people coming back, you know, they arrive as a guest, but they will always leave as a friend. So when they then come back again, it's like being out there riding with their friends.